Earlier in pre-market, we were down hard uh, for NVIDIA. Why the turnaround? I think no one is clear yet in terms of what sort of, you know, deceleration we are going to see on the gaming side. That's the point of concern. The data center side remains strong, and uh, NVIDIA said last night they have good visibility in the data center, uh, you know, chip demand. But gaming side, look, I, I think it's a toss in terms of, you know, there are some positive drivers, but then you see consumers pulling back, and then the consumer device shipment and slow down, that will hurt NVIDIA. So I don't think uh, the market is clear yet in terms of uh, what sort of deceleration we are going to see, but clearly data center was very strong. And, you know, hyperscale cloud uh, continues to be a big driver for all the semi guys. They are making all these data centers, you know, for migrating the workloads. And I, I think that's going to last for at least three, four years. So we are gonna, going to see a slowdown on that front. Mandeep, how exposed? I know they're exposed to gaming, and and the chips are often interchangeable in some ways uh, between gaming and crypto. What is happening in those two separate markets right now? Yeah, so we know crypto uh, is really going through a testing period, and there is a lot of volatility, and there uh, has been demand destruction on the crypto side. We, uh, you can see that in the open market, the chips. The ASPs of some of the NVIDIA chips have come down. But gaming is a uh, long term. I do think, you know, a company like Facebook spending, you know, $30 billion in CapEx, and a lot of that is uh, geared towards building the metaverse. That's a long term driver on the gaming side, and it's coming from the hyperscale cloud vendors. So that's why I think that side of the demand continues to show good visibility. It's the consumer pocket where, you know, uh, yes, the Bitcoin prices and some of the cryptocurrency prices taking a nosedive will have an impact uh, on, on the chip demand as well. So, Mandy, let's do the supply side for just another second here. Um, let's pretend that China reopens all of a sudden tomorrow and there's no more zero lockdown policy. How quickly can NVIDIA kind of take advantage of that? Like what, what, what could the potential uh, tail, um, a tail risk be? Yeah, so there is clearly some pent up demand when it comes to China specifically. I think the Russia revenue is probably lost revenue at this point of time. But NVIDIA's whole thing is they want to bundle software with their chips. And uh, they called out automotive last night as a big potential driver. They have $11 billion in design wins. Yeah. Now, it hasn't translated into revenue. So that is where they could see some upside, but it's still, you know, a maybe a couple of years out. I don't think we are going to see in the next couple of quarters. Can I just bring in the, the Broadcom VMware deal into this conversation? Uh -huh. um, chips, chips generally really cyclical. The, the Broadcom deal is effectively going to make them 50 chips, 50 software. And I'm, and I'm wondering whether or not that's an indication as well as to maybe there's a re, kind of reawakening of the idea that ultimately this industry is still cyclical. I heard the, the VW boss earlier on talking about the fact that we're starting to see signs maybe of the, uh, the super tight market beginning to ease. How quickly could yeah. a cycle reassert itself here, Mandeep? No, you're right. So clearly, I think NVIDIA has that risk. But what NVIDIA has done well is layered on software on top of their GPUs and some of the newer chips. And they keep touting the fact that even though they're not charging for the software right now, they have the potential to charge, uh, you know, license fee later on. And look, they were looking to buy arms. So that was a $40 billion deal that didn't go through. But yep. clearly, NVIDIA, with its strong balance sheet, will look to add on either, you know, more uh, companies on the chip side to fill the functionality gap or okay. maybe potentially software.